Hi, I'm the Morlander and this is Morlander EDC. Today we're having a look at one of Olight's most popular flashlights. In fact, I'd say probably within the EDC community it has to be one of the most well-respected lights and that is the i3T. But this is the second version, the second iteration, there's been some upgrades to it. One of them is a quality of life kind of thing. The second one definitely, hands down, is, is, a, is a vast improvement from the original to the second. Plus, uh, they're also doing uh, some charity work for an, uh, for an autism charity as well. So I'll leave some links after this so you can see where you can pick one of these up so that a small donation can be given to that, which I think is a, certainly a very good thing to do. But at this point, let's get in and let's have a look at the differences between the i3T and the i3T. Now having a look at the differences between the i3T, I guess i3T1 and the i3T2. Uh, to be clear, the one on the left hand side, the, the tan model that I have here, I've had this for about four or five years now, um, hence why it kind of looks a bit battered and bruised. Um, this is the original i3T. The one on the right hand side here, this blue one with the gold clip, this is the newer version which is the i3T2. Now putting them next to each other, I suppose looking at the similarities and the differences between them, as far as the form factor is concerned, they are pretty much identical. Um, I guess you could sit there with, with some calipers and go, well, it's a fraction of a millimeter off here or there. Um, this one weighs 3.7 grams more, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, as far as you're concerned, as far as the vast majority of concerned, as far as the, uh, the, the size, the weight, the dimensions, there is little to nothing between these. Now as far, damn it, I knew I was gonna drop one of them. Now as far as, the, as far as the differences are concerned, let's just make sure we can keep this in focus. Okay, the first one, I considered this a quality of life difference and that is around the clip. So the clip on the original i3T was one of these spring kind of press on clips, which meant that there was a small groove in here that the clip would push onto. Now hopefully you can see on here, you can see where this is worn. Both of these are made from the same aluminium uh, and has an anodized coating. And the anodized coating on a lot of these lights is, in, is exceptionally tough, but after four or five years of abuse, you can see that you can start to see, um, you can start to see the aluminium underneath here. Um, but that's where this clip kind of went on. It rotated and it, it, it did uh, knock some of the anodizing off after a while. With the i3T2, instead, the way that they've changed this is, so you unscrew the tail cap so that you can get in to uh, the triple a battery in here uh, and the, the the actual clip on it is one of those ones that fits so it's it's a, it's a female clip that the male um, what's it will then fit into and it seats on it like that so that when you then screw this on uh, like so um, there is no wear and tear. It also means that you can take this off. It doesn't close the gap completely. There's a fraction of a millimeter, which most people generally wouldn't notice. In fact, where you see, there's almost a, a, a slight crease or a band around here. In fact, let, 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 let's, let, let's not, hey, talk is cheap. Let's actually show you. So if I did want to take that off, let's screw you back in. So there you can see, it, it's definitely it's definitely less than a millimeter and it just looks like there's, there's like a seam between where the barrel is here and then where you've got the knurling is uh, around the top clicker. Um, so yeah, little, little, little to nothing. Now I'd say for me personally, that is more of a quality of life thing, mainly because it doesn't really change. Sorry, the reason I'm getting this stuck is, so it's just where that, O seal is here. So you just have to make sure you just give it a bit of a wiggle so that it passes over the O seal so that you can then you can then close it up. There we go. So that's that's, that's the first one. It just do, it just adds a little bit more longevity to the look and feel of your light. What it also does is it is it actually lifts up where the spring is. So if I put these 
side to side like that. The spring on this one is probably maybe about six or seven mil from the top, where the spring on the, the clip on this one is maybe two or three millimeters from the top. Um, so it means that if you're after something that's a little bit more deep pocket carry, then it, it, it just means that that bend there um, is a little bit is a little bit further up as well, which again it's a it's, it's a nice quality of life thing. As far as the lumen levels are concerned, so these both work exactly the same as far as you know the, the operation is concerned. It's a single click for on, single click for off, and then you can do a second kind of demi click to be able to then get into um, a second setting or a second lumen mode. On the original i3T, uh, you had a high and a low. The low was 5 lumens and the high was 180 lumens. On the i3T2, the low is exactly the same, it's at 5 lumens. The high on this, they have managed to bump it up ever so slightly and it's now up to 200 lumens. I will say, in the operation between the two of them, the difference in 20 lumens, especially at, at, at this kind of level, the amount of light that they pass out, it's it's not that noticeable and, well, yeah, it's just more of an observation. I don't know whether that's a positive or a negative, but it, it's nice that you do get a little bit more lumen levels out of it. It does mean that it will wear the battery down ever so slightly quicker. I, but again, 20 lumens in the grand scheme of things with a uh, with a AAA battery, it's 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 either it's neither here nor there. With the original i3, what you would do is you turn it on, and it would always automatically come on to the low mode, which was five lumens. You then turn it off and back on again. And as long as you turned it on and off, sorry, we just had a fly land on my head, that was really weird. As long as you turn it on and off and, and back on again, um, within a second, it will then bump it up to the higher mode, which was your 180 lumens. Now, it does exactly the same on this, but how they refer to it is you have mode one, which is the mode that it turns on to turn it off and back on again and it will go on to mode two which is your kind of secondary mode by default when it comes to you from the factory mode one is your 200 lumens turn it off and back on again and it will then cycle to your um to your five lumens did i say 50 before I hope I said five, I meant to say five. So there you can just, you can just, hopefully you can just see it in my hand. If you want to cycle back, turn it off, turn it back on again, and then it will do that. One of the features that I do like about this is, so, so maybe you're used to, you're used to the OG i3T. You actually prefer that it comes on to the low setting first. With this, it comes on to the higher setting first. However, you can change that. It does have the ability to change what you want mode one to be. Now, mode one, as I mentioned, is whatever it comes on the first time you turn it on. So now if I turn this off, leave it for more than a second, turn it back on again, that is mode one. If I turn it off and back on again straight away, this is mode two. So as it stands, mode one at this current setting is on 200 lumens. So what it can do is, so you have to click the tail, you have to, you have to click it down five times, and on the fifth one, hold it down, and you'll notice that there is a shift in the lumen level. It's a wee bit fiddly, I will give you that, but after, after a little bit of practice, hopefully I'll be able to get it right this, this first time. So if, if you're watching, I'm cupping it into my hand like this, mainly so that you can see the light. One, two, three, four, five. Do you see that it, it kicked down there? So what that's done is, is it's now set mode one to be five lumens. So when I turn this on, we're on mode one, which is five lumens, on back on again, and we're now on 200 lumens, which is now mode two. There's another way you can do this as well, and um, really, so so it, it kind of goes around it two ways, but it's exactly the same way at the end result. If you want to change mode one, you do one, two, three, four, five, and hold it down on the fifth one. If you want to change mode two, you do, you have to click it on and off nine times. One, two, three, four, it takes a little bit longer, and that will change mode two. But personally, as long as you can change mode one, it will change mode two, whatever that is in the background. 
I like that. I really do like that. Now, when I show you this in the dark in a minute, we'll go down. We'll go down to the fishing pond. I'll keep this on it on as it is factory kind of how it comes. So I'll 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 swap it back. So one, two, three, four, five. You see it then kicked up. Now when I'm clicking that, that's not a full click. That's just a that's a half depress. Um, so as as mentioned, I'll I'll keep it on its mode one as it arrives from the factory. Um, but for me personally. I actually prefer the um, the i3T, the original one, where it comes on on the five lumens. I say this a lot here, but I use the lower modes, especially when you're in a super dark environment. I use the lower modes more than I use some of the some of the higher um, lumen levels that that you can get. Um, so for me, I, I I have actually changed it over, um, but yeah, I've I've kept it like this um, so that you can you can see what it's like. Now I do have quite a lot of the original i3T because one, they're, they're not particularly expensive to buy. They're very budget friendly. Um, so this this was the original one that I first owned in in the tan colour. Um, there's also one here that is uh, that, that's carbon fibre. This is this is another special edition one, um, but hopefully soon because the i3T will be is re being is replaced by the i3T. Um, i3t2 then there'll be a lot more other colors of these but yeah this is an incredibly good light and the upgrades that you've got from the i3t into the i3t2 make this an even better EDC light option. Now it's an incredibly uncharacteristic bright night tonight. It's midnight I've been down to the fishing lake and yeah it's just a very bright night. So what I've done instead is I've come back to Castle Morlander to, uh, to, to to film in here for a second. Don't tell Mrs. Morlander. Well, she's probably never going to find out anyway. Um, okay, yeah, so I think because it is pitch black in here, it can't get any darker. This is probably a better place to show. Um, with it being reasonably low, even on its highest, so as we usually do, I'll, I'll go through this as it as it kind of turns on, especially with this kind of light. Uh, so you turn it on, and then we are on. Um, it's high mode, so automatic comes on comes on to its high mode. Uh, with this being 200 lumens, and it's great. It fills up the room. You can do one of those umbrella kind of lights where you shine it up at the ceiling, um, and it projects quite a lot of light down. Or just being able to just kind of point it around. You can see whatever it is that you need to see. There is a kick down on this. Uh, after about seven minutes or so, it'll drop from 200 down to 100. Um, there is a lower light mode, uh, which you can turn off and back on again, as long as you do it very quickly within a second or so. This is the low mode and this is the five lumens. Um, I quite like this low mode. Uh, I've, I've said this a lot that I, I tend to use the lower modes more um, but I mean it's great to have the higher lumens but generally when you're trying to find something you don't want to wake somebody up or I mean I'm not a cat burglar as such um, but some, sometimes it's nice just to have the lower modes just to be able to find what you need to find not wake somebody up and you know, do whatever it is that you need to do generally it's probably trying to find a matching pair of socks in the morning when Mrs. Morland is asleep so yeah, there you go, on its low mode, but then when you turn it off, um, I mean you can leave it for a few seconds, turn it back on, and it'll go on to, uh, it'll go on to the, the higher mode, or, so if we're back on low, turn it off, turn it back on again, it will go on to the high mode as well, but yeah, um, really like this light, I, I, as I've said many times, um, I think as far as EDC lights is concerned, this really is uh, one of the best small triple A lights that you can get out there. There's a good reason why the i3T is such a popular light, and I know I keep saying i3T, I mean i3T2. Why this is such a popular light, there really is. I think as far as the EDC community is concerned, 
this is well loved and I, I dare say probably everybody has one of these and for good reason um, a few years back I started an iconic series where I looked at iconic backpacks or bags within the bag community because I'm, I'm a huge bag nerd um, if there was uh, if I did uh, an EDC flashlight equivalent, the i3T and the i5T would, it's such an easy choice adding them to that list. The change with the clip I think is great. It, it, it certainly prolongs the, the, the newness uh, of, of, of your light. Um, but with the slight bump up, but the ability to be able to change that mode one or mode two, um, yeah, it, it really has cemented why this is such a well-loved light. So much so. Now, some of you will go, well, I think you'll find the AAA light has been around since 1962. Yeah, okay, there's been a lot of AAA lights that have come before this. However, look at all, I look at a lot, I was going to say all then, but maybe not all, look at a lot of the AAA lights that have come after this and you can see that they've all taken design cues from this light so yeah really impressed with this um, and this will be going out with me a lot as I'm sure you can uh, you, you've probably uh, worked out by now um, now I mentioned at the beginning of this so this this is one of a limited edition ones um, there is also a rainbow colored one which I think is just with the uh, which is with Olight US uh, this is the one through through Olight UK um, has these uh, the special colors on here uh, and then the autism awareness um, kind of logo on here as well so they do have a sale currently on with these I'll leave some links below so that you can have a look at those in a small uh, a small percentage of that profit it does go to uh, an, an autism charity which again I certainly think is a, is a, is a, is a nice thing for a light to be doing so yes of course I will leave those links below I'll also leave some of my social media links so you can see more from me here on Moreland EDC and also my sister channel Moreland Tactical but for now as always stay safe stay Moorlander and stay EDC Hi I'm the Moorlander and this is Moreland E eh? back on the Olight i3T and they've updated that to the Olight i3T2 they're currently also doing something for it's autism awareness isn't it you idiot it's nice that it's not rained as much this weekend there's a horrible horrible rumor going around that it rains a lot in the UK and then in April, it definitely does. Uh, we, we don't have like rainy, monsoony style seasons because it just rains all around the year. Uh, but April, because of the switch between the seasons, uh, we have a term here in the UK which is April showers because that's what it does. It'll rain, then it'll stop, then it'll be windy, then it'll be sunny, then it'll rain, then it'll be windy, then it'll be sunny, then it'll, it, it's just constant through the day. You didn't know what, what to wear. Um, so yeah, there's, 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 there's a little bit of uh, Kingdom of the Moorlands meteorological facts for you. So yeah, hope you're having a good Sunday and I will see you soon. Love you lots.